Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Today's video is gonna be a tour of my campus. I go to Loyola Marymount University and I'm a senior in the environmental studies major and I have a psych minor. Um, LMU is in sunny, not sunny today, sunny Southern California. I'm like right by LAX if you've ever been to Los Angeles. Um, I took you guys around the areas on campus that I thought were like the key spots, like that if you were to come on to LMU and drive around, walk around, like you could see these areas, possibly, possibly not go in them. Um, but areas that I couldn't go into were the gym, the film schools, both the Playa Vista location, which is down the hill from LMU, um, and then also the film school on campus, as well as I barely got any of the library. I might go back and do that. I didn't do athletics. I also didn't go into the dormitories. I showed you the outside of, I think, all of them. Um, but I know that could be something people would want, especially coming in freshman year. If there's any of these areas where you're like, Barely. Why didn't you film that? I need to know what's in there. Then just tell me. Um, if you guys want any other videos from me, just comment and subscribe. But comment below what you would want to see. I live in Los Angeles. I'm 21 years old. Newly. Well, not really newly. Um, I'm originally from Seattle, Washington. So I could just... I just have a lot to say. I talk a lot. I have a lot of opinions. Um, Let's just get the video started and you'll learn. Okay. So this is a life science building. It's one of the newest buildings on campus and it's really just for the science majors. It has classrooms, labs, and offices for the professors. I actually spent a lot of time here as a freshman. I came into LMU as a health and human science major, so I had a lot of labs here. But I actually had a great time. It's an amazing environment to be working in. And yeah, I miss it a lot. I actually spend a lot of time on the second and third floor still. I'll come here to hang out between classes or eat just because I really do think it's one of the best places to be on campus. And up here on the third floor, you can actually see the new construction for the new dormitories, the freshman dorms. And this is the lecture hall. If you're a science major, you'll probably have a lecture, presentation, or class here at some point. So here is Seaver Science Hall. It's mainly for engineers and science majors, but you might have a random class here at some point. So I call this the art school. Any arts class will most likely be held here. It has music classes, dance classes, ceramics, photography, anything artsy is gonna be here. If you guys would like a video dedicated to LMU's film school, let me know in the comments. Now we've gotten to the center of campus. Um, this is the area for the Foley building, which is the big building in front of us, and that contains a theater. So if you're a theater major, you'll be spending a lot of time there. Now this is the lair. As a freshman, this is where you're gonna be eating. It's a pretty good setup. We have bagels over here, smoothie salads, sandwich and sushi in the corner. And then over here we have hamburgers, pasta, stir fry, and Mexican. I think it's a pretty good setup, but we have so many outside options. So if you're not into any of that, you can easily go off campus. The Lion's Den. So this is where you're gonna come to get your coffee to get through finals. A lot of people will also, you know, have meetings here, meetups, hanging out with friends and whatnot. The outdoor era is also super sweet at night. Everything's all lit and it looks super cute. 
So the living room is a fun event space and they hold a lot of really cool things here on LMU. So I added their Instagram there so you guys can check out what they have going on. Now on to the freshman dorms. This is Rosecrans. Um, it's an older building, co-ed, but my year people wanted to be here. Like this was the dorm to be in. And then we have Desmond. This is the dorm I was actually in freshman year. It's all female, but it was a fun time. So here's another place to eat as a freshman. There is a little grocery store, Pizza Hut, and a Starbucks. So this is Delray South. It's co-ed, much newer than the other two dorms, and the rooms are a lot bigger, as well as Delray North. So this is Waylon. It's co-ed, and it's kind of on the older side, but people who lived here love it. chapel is kind of LMU's gem because it's just absolutely beautiful. I love the stainless steel windows. They are my favorite thing. Um, but this is the perfect place to come for prayer. They have a Sunday service and sometimes people just come here to clear their head. Now this is the first area on campus that I came to when I was touring LMU and when I decided I wanted to go to LMU. So it has a lot of meaning to me but I just wanted to show you guys the view. It's pretty insane. Now this is Xavier Hall, another film school building and I'm pretty sure it's full of classrooms but not so sure. So off in the distance, you can see Hannon Library. But before we go there, we're gonna check out the business school. So of course, if you're a business major, you will be spending time here. It's a great building, accommodates a lot of people, and has multiple different lecture halls and classrooms for each major. Hannon Library. So attached to the library, we have a Starbucks, which I didn't show. But other than that, we have a bunch of MacBooks, printers, they're the librarian assistants who will help you with your writing and research, as well as every part of the library has a killer view of campus. I also really love that we have study rooms so I can just box myself in and get my work. So here we have McCarthy Hall, Reigns, and O'Malley. They're all co-ed, two-person dorms for upperclassmen. Here are the Levies. They're all the same, apartment style, co-ed, and they can hold four people with two bedrooms, one shared bathroom, and a kitchen, but they're only for juniors and seniors. And here's one of everyone's favorite walks on campus. Here we have the center of campus with Malone on the right and St. Rob's on the left. So Malone holds a lot of student organizations on campus that have a lot of helpful resources. So St. Rob's has a bunch of different classrooms and you'll have multiple different classes here. I gave you a look inside one of them. Now on to the sophomore dorms. These are Hannon Apartments. And I actually lived in 217 my sophomore year, so that was pretty fun. But they're all apartment style, two bedrooms, shared bathroom, and a kitchen. And this is our campus bar right across from Tendrick, another sophomore apartment style dorm. 
So this is kind of the extra field on campus and intramural sports utilizes it a lot. So I'm here a lot. Ryan this is McKay, it's a sophomore dorm, not apartment style, and it's co-ed right above the habit. And finally we have U-Haul. So U-Haul is obviously one of the biggest buildings on campus. I'm pretty sure it's three football fields long. It holds all the hubs for the other majors on campus, and it has a bunch of different classrooms, as well as eating areas and a lecture hall. I think u is super cool because we have a bunch of trees in the middle of it, which is unique. So this is Roski's, and I love it. This is my favorite place to eat on campus because they're always mixing it up. Einstein bagels for morning coffee. This is the Engineering Design Center, and I don't know much about it, but I'm pretty sure a lot of the engineer majors do their projects here. The Del Rey Theater. This is where the theater majors put on some of their plays, and yeah, it's pretty cool. Next, we have Pereira Hall. This is mainly for engineer and science majors. It has one lecture hall, a big study room, and it's mainly just classrooms. I haven't been to the building behind it, but I'm pretty sure it's for the engineer students. And that's the end of my tour. Hi guys, I totally forgot to do an outro, so here I am. Um, if you like the video, like and subscribe below. Leave a comment if you have any ideas um, for me. And yeah, I should be uploading on Fridays from now on, once a week, so stay tuned.